man, kids, kids, welcome back to another video. And I gotta tell y'all, 2023 is stacked when it comes to uh, games, bro. We got a game right here called Hogwarts Legacy. It's a Harry Potter game. Now, I'm be in the game really... <laughs> Hit niggas with the spell. I'm just saying that's me. It might not be you, but that's me. And when the game comes out, I will be on it. Because guess what? I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm be on the game. So you're to get some gameplay. Yes, yes, yes. I did actually like click on it and watch like a few seconds first and actually make sure this was something that I wanted to watch. God damn you loud. So like this game, I've been looking at it like behind the scenes, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm really, I'm really liking it. I'm like impressed, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at that. That's me. It's not me black. We have black. We have a black guy in Hogwarts. <laughs> now I'm saying it's not been W for, but a nigga like me, oh, I'm gonna be really in that. Oh, it's open world too. Is it open world too? That's nice. Day and night cycle. I'm mean, like, I kind of expect that from a lot of games now, but how would that work? It's only been one game I've seen do that right. That hey was like everybody, GTA. welcome to the Hogwarts Legacy no. Gameplay Showcase. I'm Chandler Wood, Community Manager mm -hmm. here at Avalanche Software. Yeah, yeah, GTA and I'm did. I can't believe this is for Alan. Finally. <laughs> Today we'll be giving you a taste of the open world via broom flight, a mm. deeper look at combat using the Dark Arts Battle Arena, mm. and a look at your personalizable home within Hogwarts, the Room of Requirement, where we mm. can see some beasts. That all sounds good. Right where we left off in our last gameplay showcase, just outside Hogwarts. I don't know what he left. I love off. that we can you can walk out of the castle after w walking through everything, and then just come out here and take off on your broom out into the open world. And Alan, I know that's something. Now, what are these things on the side? I'm guessing where my PlayStation controller. You see how it says R2? I'm guessing I hold that, and then I use the analog stick, and you know. But I don't really know too much. You particularly. I didn't like watch the last Hogwarts Legacy too. Whatever yeah, I, showcase. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of just being able to hop on the broom and, <laughs> and go anywhere. There's something about. Right, hop like on the, the broom for me, bro. The sensation of of everything being open to you. Pull up broom. Up. Just how the hell did you do that? The, the well, sensation Bundy, of of everything being open to you and just I love the. I don't know what, what I, button did he press. The sensation of of everything being open to you. And RT just, something? I, I don't know, maybe it's triangle or something like that. I love Ooh, flying close to the ground. He's zooming! And, and I, I, I kind of wanted to talk he's about it just because in. I feel like, um, you know, the brooms are fun for me, not just because of all those feelings of exhilaration, but, but because they're not just, I have a broom and it's done. Uh, I actually kind of like some of the mechanics in it. So you can upgrade the broom? It was important to us that the player could customize themselves based mm -hmm. on their own aesthetic. So they're mm -hmm. purely cosmetic, but uh, if you talk to the shopkeep, uh, and help him out, he'll actually sell upgrades. Oh, those, those okay, upgrades okay, okay, will, okay. Only, the broom, you can only fly, um, you can only go at max speed. It's kind of like a turbo meter down there. You can only go at max speed without the meter going down, kind of closer to the ground. And as you raise into the air, you'll notice the meter drop. And so those upgrades oh. will allow you to increase that distance from the ground. And the the broom owner at, at the sporting goods store in in Hogsmeade okay. is trying to perfect the broom and get better at it. And and so they're both quest opportunities out here and a chance to kind of get to know more of the area, even beyond Hogwarts mm -hmm. and Hogsmeade that we've already experienced. Mm -hmm. And you also notice on the mini map, like lots of little icons. Uh, and each yeah. one of those represents gameplay in in the Hamlets that you can participate in. You know, whether okay. it's a vendor or different What the online look like though? Or different secrets. I don't know that's going to be a thing. It has um, to be. Each one of those icons are different opportunities. Online hitting gameplay. niggas with a and move. And you'll notice that, that same thing as we <laughs> venture out into the open world as well. So when you go out into the open world and you see see the bots as Andrew's moving around, like you mentioned, the swamp. Um, but there, we have got like a coast and we've got different types of environments out in the world just to kind of uh, pepper your experience, reward you for exploring, keep things fresh. Uh, all those things exist as we're moving around. No, cool. I love that. I'm going to be exploring like for sure, so though. Rustic. Like, Look at ours in this. This is like 1800s. The Wizarding World we've never really seen before. Like it feels so authentic. Like it just. It, it's part of it. Yeah, I, I love this Vista too, and, and I'm gonna have Andrew stop here. We're gonna use a bit of dev magic to uh, change the seasons. Actually. Oh my god. This, is so oh, <laughs> this looks good. This is so Excuse great. that I dance. I don't so know what they were going, but this looks good. It changes the landscape like completely. I mean, oh my god. It Does should, it have right? like, but it actual looks like gameplay good. impact? Like impact on the gameplay? Or does it like it's just the weather of Scotland? 
Uh, yeah, we use it. We really use it as a narrative marker through through the game. So as you're progressing through your main storyline, mm -hmm. it was important for us to kind of like have those moments that kind of felt like when you're reading the books or watching the movies, where you know you'll see kind of like the title card, winter, and, <laughs> and now the landscape has changed, and, and you're really feeling mm -hmm. those that passage of time while you're a student, you know, going through your year at Hogwarts. Right. And I think I think we wanted to duplicate that. And for me, it's really fun that it's not just on the outside. I just like the fact that we could ride this. Like <laughs> this, this is crazy. Um, this is crazy. But within uh, here, he's pulling out the Thestral, which is oh my God. part of that dark arts pack <laughs> from the Deluxe, oh, Deluxe oh, edition. So we're going that full, was full dark arts what? here. Um, that's that was great. Nice. That's what I'm like going down. I feel like it's not a horror game, but if it's just dark and I got my headphones turned all the way up, I say like a villain, I say like an enemy pop out. Yeah, it's gonna scare me. But I like this uh, this battle arena. It is a it's great place to show off um, oh. really combat in a big way because it unlocks some interesting abilities for you and, and allows you to, to uh, really play around with uh, combat in a, in a deep way. And is this like the only arena like this oh, in the game goodness. where you can like practice? And yeah, do... so in the, in the base game, we have uh, two combat arenas normally. That, mm -hmm. And so everyone has access to those. All right. And each of the combat arenas you are an opportunity to kind of just go through so combo combat challenge and stuff. Waves in order to uh, earn a uh, we're back in the book. That's crazy. I, man, I gotta go um, watch Harry Potter. In the of, uh, that's no different than the dark arts battle, even in some pretty extreme situations. Um, you'll notice that like the the meter takes up a, mm. a lot longer to mm. yeah, kind of build mm. mm. up as a way to kind of deal with its extreme power, just that it's still fun to use. Damn. And there's some some ways that we'll probably talk about to, oh, you, to, you can have... to adjust that. I but just I noticed know, I... something, which I kind of already should have known this. You can pick your spells because you customize your character, so you can. I don't know if there are things combo, on the screen, like you just have uh, throwing about, nigga. Like, uh, like, I see those those are, oh, that's really crazy, <laughs> bro. From yeah. the enemies, also, before, like that sign. Well, it's like so in the community we mm, call it the mm, ancient magic sign. Mm, that know, dog that's lit. how it's called. Yeah, in the <laughs> game. The so the community is with player, so bro. Dog, player facing in the game. Oh, god. Yeah. Oh, so it is ancient magic. I need it. Yeah. So I need, your, I need it. I need it. I need it. We gonna stop it here. The rest that they gonna talk about is more gameplay, and I'm pretty sure gonna show you how the current customization looks. I kind of want to find that out for myself, but this is Hogwarts Legacy Gameplay Showcase Two, and let me tell you, I'm really liking this game. Like when it come out 2023 next year, I'm really gonna be on that. So expect that too on this channel. Damn, I got a lot of stuff for this channel. And Spider-Man supposed to be dropping next year. Expect that. Like, if you go nowhere else, come here for that. Because I will be on that 24-7. That might be the only game I play when they come out, depending on how good it is. Because Venom's supposed to be in that. But I'll see y'all next, next video, bro. Like, I don't know who I could trust in. Lily, I stress all the time, bring the bucks in. And they be on my phone, no discussions. Shorty, why you let me alone without nothing?